Hello everyone and welcome to part one of The Evil Within 2. Really looking forward to this, really do hope you enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to say right off the bat, do not start this playthrough unless you've experienced the first game in some way. Either you've played it yourself or you've watched someone else play it. It's a game that's definitely worth playing in my opinion, so uh, yeah, chances are this is going to spoil things right off the bat. So uh, do yourself a favour and play the first game. It's been a while since I played it, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very solid, over-the-shoulder, third-person shooter. Uh, very memorable sequences, monsters, boss battles, and it was ultimately really quite scary and tense. Now, um, once again, we'll be playing as Sebastian Castellanos, who goes back into the world of STEM. This time, I think, looking for his daughter, who he thinks is dead, but I'm not entirely sure if that's the case. If you want to buy this game for PC, I'll put the links down below in the description. And I think that's all I've really got to say. Really do hope you enjoy it. Let's start a new game. Okay. Oh, difficulty. Brilliant. Casual survival or nightmare? Well, it's probably not going to be casual. Um, probably going to go with survival, I suppose. What's this? Recommended for players who enjoyed the difficulty of the previous game. I did. I did. I really did, actually. Um, I'm going to go with survival. Hopefully I can change it up if I find it a little bit too easy mid-game. Alright. And aim assist. I'm playing with the mouse and keyboard, so I don't think I'll need something like that. So, uh, yeah, disable. Not happening. Truthfully, you might be right. I'm not sure. I don't know what to believe. <laughs> first, first of all, I'm really enjoying the look of this game because there's no cinematic black bars on the top and the bottom. That was one of the few sort of technical issues I did have with the first game. Oh God, Lily! Lily's in there. Oh dear. <laughs> Better get in then. Yeah. So already, I'm seeing an improvement in my eyes. Okay. That doesn't seem like an option. <laughs> the window? Oh no. Over here somewhere? That's right. Yeah, open this. That's fine. Damn it! Oh come on. You can do it. Lily, I'm here! Where are you? Oh god, is she upstairs? Maybe, maybe. Where are the Ooh. Okay, guess we're not going that way. Where are the stairs? Probably through there, Sod's Law says. Okay. This is looking pretty good, actually. I'm not oh, playing on the ultra-high settings, but I am playing on a mix of medium and high, and yeah, it looks, looks pretty good. Okay. Here we are, then. Up the stairs. That's Lily, is it? I'm coming, Lily. Just hold on. Truth be told, I don't really remember if Lily was such a big part of the first game. I don't... I don't think she was. I don't remember too much about her, if that's the case. I'm here, Lily! I'm here! Over there? Oh, no. Oh, hang on. Can we... Is there a way to... Right. Okay. I was thinking it might be C, actually, but left control. I actually prefer that, so... Yeah, brilliant. Hang on. This one? Oh, yes. Okay, Lily. Open it. Lily? Come on out. Lily! Where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. You weren't here for me, Dad. Oh dear. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Let's get all the angles for that. So, uh, yeah, I was right not to trust it. That wasn't real. It was a dream. I hope. Oh, 
<laughs> Hello again. Kidman? Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was gonna happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. I don't think you can forget so something like that. Psychologist that force shoved down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're gonna tell me about Mobius. Oh, they're with you, are they? I'm here because of this. Huh. Where did you get this? Lily's still alive. <gasps> Lily is dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive, and she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! Bloody hell. I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. But we don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. You're awake. Good. No thanks to you. Yeah. Great. Where are we? Oh. Oh yeah, I'm in control. You're in one of our facilities. So this is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. <laughs> Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. Here we go again, then. Oh, the bathtubs are back, I see. The hospital incident was... an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new... and vastly improved STEM system. But you kept the bathtubs. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind hmm. of an innocent child. You connected Lily to that machine? <clears throat> Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. 
We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. You can save her, or let her die. It's your choice. I think I might know which one he picks. Good luck, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. Still don't really know if I can trust you. You're, you're kind of playing the, uh, the Ada to Sebastian's Leon. And someone else will be in there for you. Huh. Are you ready? That's not ominous at all. <laughs> be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you. Stem entry in three, two, one. And we are in. Bloody hell. <laughs> of course, time for credits. <laughs> Oh my god. Nice. Jesus. Certainly hope there isn't full damage. He's okay. I think. Well, that's that's a start. <laughs> we can work with this. So yeah, if you didn't play The Evil Within 1, you didn't watch it, you didn't experience it in any way, um, the Mobius stuff, the STEM stuff, isn't meant to be readily apparent. So uh, yeah, that, that was a pretty big spoiler for the first game. Okay, we're in? Yes, we are. Is this... Where am I? I have no idea, but I should probably run in some direction. Uh, this way, I guess? I think this is more or less the way I was facing. Oh! Right, that's a good start. Wait, is that the house again? You know, pre-fire? I think so. Post-fire. I'm coming, Lily! Uh, is this like a, a dream within STEM? Or, uh, I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No! no. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Hell is this place? Oh, hang on. Wait, what's that? Detective, we've got a call. All units, all units, eleven ninety nine. Expedite cover code three. Beacon Mental Hospital. Oh wow! Hearing that music, it's brought a lot of memories back. <laughs> okay, what have we got now? Wait. Is, is that a phone? I think so. Hopefully it's for me. What the... Oh no, you really need to deal with this texture popping. <laughs> Hello? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman? What? 
snap out of it, Sebastian. You've made it in safely. How are you feeling? Terrible. Like the worst hangover ever. Don't worry. It will pass once your mind has adjusted. You're in an area separate from the main system right now. That's how we're able to maintain communication with you. This construct is called your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Hmm. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? Uh, I see a cat in the next room. Is that what you're talking about? Well, I don't know. I don't think this is actually an area that we got to explore in the first one, so I'm not seeing anything out of place. There's some stuff up here, though. Ah, this is probably it. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Okay, well I probably will then, if I can. Uh, right, so here are the five people and we've got a photo down here. Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I still don't understand why you can't just take them all out of their pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Mm. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find Lily. Otherwise she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. <laughs> No pressure then, no. Yeah, so if you do die in STEM, you die in real life as well. So, uh, yeah, okay, let's have a look. Yukiko Hoffman? Psychology and surveillance. This one could be cagey. Now, right off the bat, I don't know if this is the case, but I'm assuming that all five of them have probably transformed into strange, horrible monster bosses or something. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't be surprised. And who have we got up here? Julian Sykes? Sykes. Tech, but at least he has some small arms training. Okay, and then there's Liam O'Neill as well. If I can have a look, there you go. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. <laughs> Miles Harrison up here. Harrison, combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. Probably not. Not quite as well as I could. Well. Hopefully. Hopefully I haven't forgotten everything from the first game. Baker. Team leader. He's the guy I should try to find first. Okay. Yeah, sure. Can do. Is that pretty much it? I Oh, no, actually. No, here we go. We're glad you're here. Union. And a couple Union. of photos. Looks like any town USA. <laughs> it was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened at Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't seem like you've got much control this time, either. Look, I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. You know, canvas the area. Just like you taught me back at KCPD. You were never a real detective, Kidman. And you're not a detective anymore. But let's try to do some detecting anyway, okay? Alright, I suppose you got me there. Right, so I think unlike the first game, this has some open world elements. I'm not sure if that's really the way I should describe it, but there are some, I think, bigger areas. I think we can actually explore Union and go back and forth to certain locations. I guess we'll see as the game progresses. A cat? Yeah. I don't ever remember owning a cat. Nah, what are you talking about? He's the newest member of the Force. It looks like the cat may have brought me something as well. Okay, what's that? Slide projector. Oh yeah. Where did my memory dig this up? Hmm. Huh. Elementary school? Possibly. Okay, so we've got a relic from a pre-phone camera era. <laughs> These are mostly found in old people's attics and estate sales, and they can be viewed using the slide projector in Sebastian's room. Which I presume is, yeah, this one right here. And there's 11 to collect in total. Or maybe 11 in this area. I'm not sure. Out the way, kitty. There you go. <laughs> ah, 
conveniently placed whiteboard. Yeah, go on then. That one? Sure. Uh, talk to Kidman, I suppose. Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. No. Why would I lie about that? Because you're Kidman. To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. Pretty much. You lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. Okay. So of course, yeah, that's the only slide we got right now. But when I uh, when I find the others, I'll come back and get a little bit more backstory, I suppose, and maybe humanize Kidman a little bit more. Right? Oh, oh, Kitty, is this what I think it is? What green gel? Right. So that makes your return. I don't, I don't think I actually called it that in my playthrough a few years ago. I think I called it goo or something like that. But yeah, uh, you can use it to obtain increased abilities. Thanks, so there's got to be some place we can upgrade and stuff. Hmm. Is it going to be a... Oh, the mirrors! That's right! Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Okay, fair enough. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Because <laughs> that wouldn't be any fun, would it? Right. What have we got here? Oh, this is how we save. Okay. And they're found in safe houses in Sebastian's room. Uh, okay, right. I don't think it's really worth saving quite yet. So, uh, yeah, can we investigate? Here we go again. Into the looking glass. Straight through it, really. So far, so good. It seems to uh, control well, play pretty well so far. So that's Myra, is it? Oh no! <laughs> Lily, what's wrong? Doll's head is broke. <laughs> it's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. <laughs> That's not meant to be me, is it? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you all right? Far from it. I've got a wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be all right? Come here, Myra. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? Oh boy. <laughs> Is that going to happen every time I go through a mirror? Oh bloody hell. <laughs> Good thing you realised. Okay. Is this the right place? Well, I assume so. Yeah, so while in STEM, we're going to see some pretty outrageous shit. But it all kind of makes sense because that's just STEM. That's that's the world they've built. What the... Here we are then. I have to say, it's, it's a little bit more of a, a slow start in comparison to the, uh, the first game, where it pretty much went to shit immediately after a short car ride. But we are just sort of setting up the backstory, I suppose, introducing the family. I assume that one won't open. Let's just go towards this door, shall we? Okay, so crouch. I I don't think there's a jump. There's probably some sort of vault mechanic. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's convenient. 102, sure. Hang on. What does it say on the side of it? Will William Baker. Wasn't that one of the guys? The Mobius agents? 
Okay. I think we might be onto something here. All right. Hey, we got a flashlight. Nice. I was kind of wondering about that, actually. In here? I suppose. What the hell? I know. So many paintings. Oh! That. The hell. That's... One of the search team. Yeah? Baker. What we got here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I take a picture? <laughs> I don't think so. It would be a good shot. Look at that blood spraying out. Look at that fucking... Look at the exit wound. That's insane. What was he shot with? Wait, Sebastian, what are you doing? It... God. Okay, so this this is new. What on earth is what on earth is going on? Hang on, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, investigate him. Leader. One bullet straight through the head. <laughs> Christ. All right. Well, that's one team member that's not coming back, I suppose. Uh, and what was the other thing? Didn't I see something over here? No. I guess not. Maybe there was just two locations I could examine or uh, investigate. So we can just sort of walk out of this and walk back in freely? That's very strange. So he just, you know, he, his death just keeps repeating, does it? Fair enough. Alright, let's just check the outside. Can't stop the music or anything like that. No goo, nothing to find. Still haven't really found a weapon or anything like that. Uh, through here, I guess. Very strange. Right, so yeah, it's not every single mirror that will take us back to you know, the safe area. Okay. Is this like a makeshift dark room? Or yeah, I think that's exactly what it is. What's this? A file. We have a file. Sadistic. One of 40. Whoever did this must have enjoyed it. Right. Baker, the search team leader. He was frozen in time when I found him. This must have been taken by the camera right by him, but... How is this even possible? Uh, again, STEM. <laughs> it kind of explains everything. Anything can happen here. Well, that's kind of neat. We can actually check the backs of photographs. A little bit like The Order or something like that. God, that was a dreadful game. Uh, yeah, okay. Pretty cool. 39 more of those to find, I suppose. Let's have a look. Can we open any of this? Alrighty. Not finding too much else. Hold on, though. Hold on. Is that just another way in? Yeah. Okay. Nothing on the shelf. Just a few trays. That's okay. That's alright. Any files in here? Surely. <laughs> Nothing. Wait, wait, wait. No, there is. There's something going on here. Investigate. Ah. Oh, right. I see. Someone tried to block the way out. Or in. I think we might have to... Yes. Operate it. Move it. Slide it. Secret passage. Brilliant. Okay. Really do wish I had some sort of weapon. <laughs> okay. Let's try and go this way, I suppose. It's probably not going to work. Mm, no. Okay. No, it's it's kind of neat to know, actually. Even though you, it doesn't say you can press C. You can press C. You can try the doors. I wonder if it's like that with some items as well. Right, okay. It... Phone? Yep. <laughs> There's one right over there. Who is it? Hello? <laughs> Shit. Who is that? Uh, I'm not sure. Sounds kind of evil, though. Obviously, someone who doesn't mind filling up his phone bill with short calls just to snigger at someone. I wonder if any of the old monsters from uh, from the Evil Within One are going to make a return, like um, like Laura or something like that. I think Laura is probably the one I remember the most. There's a few others I remember. I just don't remember the names, like the guy with the safe on his head. I mean, that was 
There's some really, really cool moments from the uh, the first game. In fact, I'll probably play it again after I finish this one. Just for fun. Right, I guess we're going up. Around the corner? No? Okay. <laughs> oh boy, there's more of that curtain. Oh, hold on, yeah, I should be able to crouch under this. There you go. The Hold on, hold on. And, and what? Oh, grand... Grand what? Hotel? What have we got here? Is this, uh... Yeah, it's another file. Okay, we're finding them thick and fast. Uh, congratulations, Truth Seeker. Thank you for taking our spiritual acuity test. We're pleased to welcome you to the next level of knowledge. Please report to the nearest Mu Center uh, with this letter to ascend from probationary applicant to the position of Mu Disciple. This letter guarantees you an exalted position at the next cleansing ceremony. And handwritten on the back of the envelope. Lies. Yeah, lies. All lies. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think they're trying something a little bit different in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a few familiar faces from the old game. Whoa. Help! Help me! Hey! Jesus Christ. Damn it! That was quick. Were you attached to a bungee cord? What's going on here? I don't know. Maybe smash the uh, the window, reach around and, and unlock the door. No? Okay, Sebastian, he's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. Let's put it that way. Not going that way? No, okay. Well, <laughs> up it is again, I suppose. Come on, then. Hmm. It's got to be that way, hasn't it? It really does. I guess we'll try this door just in case. Ooh, reflections look a little bit low res. I think uh, now that I've, you know, sort of played the first little bit of this game, I, I kind of know what my PC could probably put up with. Might be able to put my settings up a little bit more and tweak them around a bit for the next one. Hang on, hang on. What's going on? What's behind this curtain? I'm not liking where this is going, really. Okay. Lots of... Oh, hello. Hey. Oh, shit. Oh! Christ! What? That's a fancy camera you've got. Is it... Oh, you idiot! Shit. Right. Oh, okay, yeah, so, we, yeah, it is a, it's a cover-based kind of game. Uh, yep, 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 space, and you've got to hold it. That's fine, that's that's okay. And you want to move, W, A, S, and Z, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, let's give that a go, I suppose. Let's see if we can hide from this guy. Right, so, yeah, you got to hold... Yeah, you got to hold space. That's that's an interesting way of doing it, I suppose. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Where's he going? Come on. Go around. No, around the corner. That works. Who the hell was that? Oh, he just left. I have no idea. But I think he's actually in the promotional artwork and stuff, so, you know, he's probably going to be the, uh, <laughs> the villain of the piece in this game. Who are you, more to the point? Just like the search team. Sure. So, yeah, he's just reliving his death over and over again. Trapped in that, like, second. Because of the camera. What a nice man that guy is. Oh, blimey. How many victims do you have, exactly? Hold on, am I missing something here? Uh, not really. Can't open that. That's okay. I gotta find a way out of here. <laughs> what are you talking about? You just got here. I agree, though. I do. Look at the. Oh, look at the pendulum. Look at the people strung up like maggots and stuff like that. Holy shit! All right. Is this the same place? It is, isn't it? I don't suppose we could know. He can't use the phone this time. Go on then. Let's have another look round. Maybe there's more places to go this time. We got Whoa, shit, what was that? Oh, go on then, I'm gonna be stupid and investigate. Okay. Through. Oh, shit, okay. What is that? 
Can we go over this? W and E. Oh, right, E to use. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Another file? Yes, okay. And what's this one about? A photograph of another murder victim. This is a Mobius uniform. Well lit and in focus. Looks like a gun was used to shoot him in the head. Jesus Christ. Nothing on the back. Okay, cool. Not going in there either? No, it... Does any of this work? Ah, oh, shit. I think I was kind of catching up to the guy with the camera, but... It's probably best that I don't follow him. Alright, so yeah, that's locked and everything. Out we go. Uh... Yeah, go on then. Across the hall, what we got through here? Whoa! Is that like a giant eye? Nice. Hey, well, fucking hell. Almost. <laughs> Almost fell down. Actually, I couldn't. Yeah, the invisible barriers actually kind of saved my life there. Thanks. Yeah, I guess we're going up. Man, oh man. Yeah, visually, I'm remembering the first game was quite striking. And uh, that did help to make a lot of scenes and sequences very, very memorable. What if we... Whoa, there he is again! Hide. Hide, but follow. I'm not Sebastian, I am Sam Fisher. Come on. Can we... Oh, shit. I don't think we can sprint and, uh, and crouch at the same time. Where is he? Can't really see. I guess he went up there. Okay. Go on then. Where is he? Where did he go? Over here? Whoa, whoa, hang on, what the hell is that? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. We've got some, uh... Christ. Ceramic artwork or something? I don't know. Oh no. No, it's a bit more sinister than that. Was that Rebirth? Yeah, if you say so. Well, I don't think I really want to hang around here if that's getting reborn. Wait, this isn't glass, is it? Well, hang on, is this exact? It's just like... It's a photo. How the fuck did you do this? All chopped up bodies and stuff. Oh man, this is uh, this is going to be one of those videos that might not be suitable for all advertisers, I think. And I can understand that. I don't think I'll dispute that one. Right. Are we going this way? Maybe. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a it's a bit of a slow build in comparison to the first one, but I'm I'm kind of liking it. It's it's kicking it up a notch now. I, uh, I really do wish I had a gun though. <laughs> I think actually because I pre-ordered the game, I think I'm actually given one pretty soon. I don't think it can come soon enough. This way? Right? Yeah. This lift looks fine. Where are we going? Number one? I guess so. Yeah, good stuff. I'm still stoked that I'm not seeing black bars and I don't have to go into config files and edit them out. It did give the game a cinematic look, but it was just too much. They were too thick. So much blood down here. Go on then, are we- oh. Under there, yep, yeah, there you go. Oh man. Oh man, are these- all these victims? Alright. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Which one of these? Are still alive. What's that, an eye? Yeah, oh, mm, shit. Can we use this? Investigate it? No. <laughs> okay. Clearly inspired by layers of fear or something like that, I don't know. Go on then. What do you see? Oh, <laughs> there you go. Okay, it's a door. Oh. Nice formation. Yes, this is the way we're meant to go. Oh shit! Ah. There he is. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Well, at least he didn't cut me up. We're okay. We can move. We're, we're not injured. No. Okay. What? The... Right. Sebastian, did did that happen? 
Truthfully, not sure. I think after the events of the first game, we wouldn't be surprised if he was losing it. Hang on, is that... That's me, that's the photo. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, hang... <laughs> Laura? <laughs> Can't look like her. Whoa! Holy shit! Uh, yeah, okay! Giant saw blade and all. <laughs> yes! Yes, sprint! Right, where do we go? Uh. Alright, well, she came from somewhere. Let's go that way. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> Actually, there was a chase sequence near the beginning of the first game as well. I'm liking these similarities. Okay, come on. Up and over. Come on. That's it, that's it. Oh shit, she is close. She is very close. Where we... I don't think that's going to stop her. Shit. I'm trapped in here. Are you? What we got? Nope, yep, no, we're going up, we're going up. There's a vent. There's always a vent. Until there's not. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh shit, I think she's right below you. Oh yeah, the intensity is definitely fucking increased. There we go. Alright. God damn it. What the hell is that thing? I don't know. Yukiko, maybe? <laughs> oh. The rat. Oh shit, 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 shit. Hang on. Oh, back, back. <laughs> okay. Well, she can't fit in here. It doesn't mean she can't kill me in here. Can we speed this up at all? No, this is this is as fast as we can go in the vents. Oh, I'm enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this, actually. Down there. Not really much of a choice. But, yep, that's it. That'll do. Oh, I don't hear it. That doesn't mean she's not around. See? <laughs> what did I say? No, no. Far from it, actually. Go on. Keep going, keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Well, it, no, no! <laughs> Fuck! What? Well, he didn't finish the job, thankfully. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> Struggle! Struggle like mad! Oh, now you've gone and done it. Oh, Jesus. Go. <laughs> I get to keep the knife, though? Okay. Well, All right. That's one way of getting the first what weapon, the isn't it? What the fuck is going on here? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure. Uh. Right, okay. My life gauge is red. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I think that was much like the first one, really. So yeah, let's let's stay still for the time being. And yeah, we do have a survival knife. How do we use it exactly? Like that, I suppose. Just left click. Because I guess that's what I've got equipped. Okay, nice. Alright, I don't actually think I've got any health kits or anything like that right now. So um, yeah. Actually, I've been recording for quite a while. So this is actually where I'm going to end the first part of The Evil Within 2. Really hope you enjoy it. I'm going to continue playing and hopefully you'll see part 2 shortly. All right. See you then. No, this is not happening. Truthfully, you might be right. I'm not sure. I don't know what to believe. <laughs> no! Shit. No! <laughs> you need to forget it. I don't think you can forget so something just, like that. All your answers are right here. Here we go again then. Oh, the bathtubs are back, I see. Lost. Jesus. Certainly hope there isn't full damage. Our units, our units 1199, cover code 3, oh wow. What the hell? I know, so many paintings. Oh! That. Lots of... Oh, hello. Hey. Oh shit. Maybe there's more places to go this time. We got... Whoa, shit, what was that? Across the hall, what we got through here? Whoa! Chopped up bodies and stuff. Oh man, this is uh, this is going to be one of those videos that might not be suitable for all advertisers. I think. 
Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Which one of these are still alive? <gasps> Wait, heck. <laughs> Laura? <laughs> Can't look like that. Whoa! Holy shit! Well, it, no, no! 